OK, welcome back. This is part two of my mini series about how to master mental multiplication without memorizing tables using my unique number ninja system. If you haven't already seen the earlier parts of my mini series, then you might want to click on that card in the corner right now so that you can go and see everything right from the start. So here we go. This is how it works. It's a simple three step process. The first step with any multiplication is to spot the fastest key to solving the problem. It'll be one of the numbers in the problem or the X in the middle. My system teaches you how to do that easily. The second step is to link the key you chose to its special picture, which as you'll see is really easy too. And lastly, you just use the story related to the picture to get quickly and easily to the answer. Now, if you've not already seen any of my videos about those simple picture stories, be sure to check those out either right here on this channel or the more detailed ones over on my number.ninja website. You'll see how with just a few stories, you can multiply many problems. And I'm not just talking about those up to 12 times 12. You can use these for many problems way beyond that. Let me show you some examples. Let's start with 10 times 9. You'll learn it's much quicker to multiply by 10 than by 9. So we choose 10 as the key. Now the picture for 10 is a snail. Can you see how that snail looks like a 10? Well, all of my pictures have an easy link like that. Next, we play the snail story in our heads using the other part of the problem, the nine. So in our story, the nine is a snail who lost his shell. So we just need to pop one on. We pop a zero on the end to make nine zero, 90. That's our answer. Of course, the snail works for any whole number as large as you like. For another example, let's try 11 times 12. You'll learn that 11 is the fastest key here, as the 11 story is quicker than the 12 story. The picture for the 11s is the sandwich. Do you see how that sandwich looks like an 11? Like I said, there's always an easy link like that. And so for step three, the story we run in our mind is to make a sandwich using the other part of the problem, the 12. It goes like this. We put the one and two on the slices, and then for a filling, we add one and two together to get three. So we have one, three, two. Our answer is 132. If you've ever tried to memorize the 11 times table, then you may have thought that 11 times 12 was hard to memorize, but you've just seen why you don't even need to remember it. And yes, it'll work for 11 times 11 as well. You break the two ones apart and you add them together to make a filling of two, giving you one, two, one. 121. In fact, it'll do a whole lot more too. You see, most of those kids at the top of your class may have no problem remembering those answers up to 12 times 11, but they're often stumped by problems like, say, 11 times 53. Before you move on to the next part of this mini-series, then please let me know if you enjoyed it by hitting the like button below. And if you have any comments, please feel free to add those too.